Back in the day when I used to have time to watch movies, there was a movie that was released in 1997 called Volcano. Not many people that I asked remember that movie, and certainly not many people consider it a classic. The movie tells the fictional story of a volcano that explodes in the LA area. One of the scenes in the movie was for a firefighter trying to rescue a woman from uh, a subway station that was being filled with the burning fire, with the lava from that volcano. The firefighter was carrying that woman and he came to a channel in that station that was filled with that river of fire and he knew that he could not make it if he wanted to jump with the load that he was carrying across that river of fire. But he did anyway, carrying the woman above his head. He did fall into the lake of fire and with the life still remaining in him, he used it to push the woman across the lake of fire and she was rescued. At the time, I did not understand what the firefighter did. Why would anyone sacrifice his life for the life of someone else? This man had a life. Why did he have to lose it because of that woman? A few years later, something in reality happened in Baghdad. In March of 2003, shortly before the Second Gulf War, there was this uh, house, a Chaldean family in downtown Baghdad. The woman is, was fairly famous for being an architect and a sculptor. And they were afraid that a gas shortage would happen, just like the gas shortage that happened at the first Gulf War. So they stockpiled kerosene and propane and, and gas and uh, all kinds of fuel, and they did not store them properly. Of course, the expected happened, and the house exploded in fire. The man and his wife and their daughter were burning, and uh, their son was out in the front yard. And when he saw that his house was on fire, he heard his sister screaming to him through the window, pleading that he would come and save her from the flaming fire. The young man had a split second to decide whether to come inside the house trying to rescue his sister that was begging him and possibly die with her or to just let her burn to death. Of course, he went into the house and he tried to rescue his sister and he did not make it. The whole family was burned to death. The only thing that remained of that house was the very sad look on the face of their German shepherd looking at what used to be the house of his owners. That's when I realized that sometimes in our lives we come to that point when we have to make a decision either to sacrifice ourselves for those that we love or to live our entire life with the thought that we could do something for those people and we chose not to. When I started talking about how Jesus Christ sacrificed himself that humanity may live, those who believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So many people wanted to play the district attorney that questions the methods of God as recorded in the Bible. And they said, why did Jesus choose to die and why did God have to give his son for us to live? When the Bible talks about the sacrifice of Jesus in the book of Hebrews, it reminds us in chapter 12 and verse 2, talking about Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of God. The short answer to the question, why did Jesus die for us, is because he liked it, because he loved it so much that he considered it a joy for him to die that he may see us living with him in eternity. سنة 97 كان أكو فيلم أنتج اسمه البركان أتذكر مشهد من هذا الفيلم محطة قطارات تحت الأرض في مدينة لوس أنجلوس امتلأت بالحمم البركانية وكان هناك رجل إطفاء يحاول إنقاذ امرأة وكان يحمل هذه الامرأة وأراد أن يقفز قناة ممتلئة بالحمم البركانية وعلم رجل الأطفاء أنه لن يتمكن من عبور هذه القناة ولكنه قفز وسقط في الحمم البركانية وكان لا يزال رافعا المرأة وبالنفس الأخير الذي امتلك دفع المرأة حتى قفزت إلى ما عبر تلك القناة وأنقذ رجل الأطفاء تلك المرأة وهو مات بالتأكيد حالا 
لم أفهم ذلك المشهد في ذلك الوقت وكنت أفكر لماذا يضحي أي إنسان بحياته لأجل شخص آخر ثم نتذكر نحن العراقيين الحادثة التي حدثت في شهر آذار سنة 2003 حينما احترق بيت في بغداد كان يسكن رجل وامرأته وامرأته كانت نحاتة ومهندسة معمارية واحترق البيت لأنهم قاموا بتخزين العديد من المحروقات لتجنب شحة الوقود كالتي حصلت في حرب الخليج الأولى وكان الابن خارج البيت وشاهد البيت وهو ينفجر بالنيران المستعرة وشاهد وسمع أخته وهي تناديه عبر الشباك أن يأتي لينقذها وكان أمام هذا الشاب خيارين أما أن يدخل محاولا إنقاذ أخته ويموت في المحاولة أو أن يتركها تحترق وتموت وينفذ بجلده بالتأكيد اختار أن يدخل البيت و يحاول أن ينقذ أخته وماتت جميع العائلة في بعض الأحيان نصل إلى مفترق طرق يجب علينا أن نتخذ قرار أما أن نضحي بحياتنا من أجل من نحب أو نعيش حياتنا كلها مع فكرة أن هناك شخص احتاج إلى مساعدتنا ونحن وقفنا موقف المتفرج ولم نعمل أي شيء حلال ذلك حينما نتحدث عن ضحية المسيح وعمله الكفاري على الصليب يتساءل العديد من الناس لماذا اختار المسيح أن يموت فداء للبشرية ويجيب الكتاب المقدس على هذا السؤال في الرسالة إلى العبرانيين 12-2 متحدثا عن رئيس الإيمان ومكمله يسوع الذي من أجل السرور الموضوع أمامه احتمل الصليب مستهينا بالخزي فجلس على يمين عرش الله اختار يسوع المسيح أن يضحي بنفسه لأجل البشرية لأنه أحب البشرية وكان هذا هو السرور الموجود أمامه أحبنا يسوع المسيح إلى درجة أنه أراد أن يقضي الأبدية معنا